Plus, local science and engineering students are being honored for their latest projects. Ahead on Good Day This Hour, a look at one student's final solution that's making area farmers very happy. It's John. All right, 925 now. The NorCal STEM Education Foundation has awarded top honors to three different students. Still ahead, the winner will join us with a look at her project. And don't oh, thank that. you. Well, impressive projects in science and engineering earning local students top honors. After the break, the solution to help the Valley's tomato plants stay fungus-free from one of those. with you now. All right, from some cool middle school students to an awesome junior in high school, here she is. This is Tibia Yuva Raju from our own Mira Loma High School. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The first place grand prize winner from the Sacramento region's largest STEM competition. You're now going to be competing for a title in the global competition coming up in May. And your project, this is near and dear to, I think, all of our hearts here in California. The reversal of harms done by the drought. We're focused right now on a very sad looking tomato plant. What is that? So that's the effect of a fungal pathogen called Fusarium oxysporum FSP lycopersisii race 3. Don't worry, all it is wow. is it's a fungus. <laughs> I am a little worried. Uh, that sounds awful. It yeah. actually really decimated some of our tomato crops right. and this is the idea behind mm -hmm. your project. Exactly. So what happened is over the past five years, Californian farmers have been facing a severe drought yeah. and they keep getting more water and instead of having to spend more money on the water, what I wanted to do was look at a solution from the ground up and that's why I started looking at soil and how it has an impact. And we're actually going to do an experiment. Explain You're what right. you want to do here. All right, so as part of my research, I conducted many different experiments and end it with an open source programming code. So any farmer anywhere with any climate can give me their soil and I'll be able to tell them what they need to do to save money and save water and lastly, help people stay nourished. So let's start off with Incredible. our soil separation okay. test. So what I have here is 100 milliliters of soil. Now this is your everyday potting soil. Got it. And I'll be using a soil from mid California. Okay. So we're going to open the mason jars and right. So I'm going to be giving you a bottle and you can pour it yourself. How much should I add? About almost all of it. Okay. It's about 200 milliliters. All right. Good. That'd be good. Okay. And I'll be doing the same over here. And now what we can see is we're going to close it and you can already see how it's different. Oh, you see how yeah. hers has a lot of humus, which is organic matter. So wow. it's floating. Whereas mine has a lot of oopsies, has a lot of clay. And so what we're going to be doing is closing it shut and we're going to be shaking it. And now after you let it sit for about one or two weeks, you'll see that it separates into four distinct layers, humus on the top, sand, silt, and clay. And what does this tell you about the harms of the drought and how can you help these farmers? So what I can tell is that I'll be able to find what particle of the soil farmers have the most. And this actually varies. And so I'll put it through my open source programming code and it'll tell me using linear regression formulas how much of a specific part of soil, humus, sand, silt, or clay, that farmers need to increase to end up saving them money, saving water, and keeping everyone nourished. Can you see why she won first place? Yes! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I am that is, um, uh, wow. Nadia, if you don't mind stepping in, she heads up the uh, local NorCal STEM Foundation. And the, the programs you run for these students, just part of what you really offer to the community. What else do you want to promote? Yeah, so uh, at the NorCal STEM Education Foundation, we have our regional STEM fair, which is our biggest event. And, and you know, as you can see, we, yeah. we get wonderful results. But we also have our STEM mentoring program where we put professional scientists and engineers into the classroom with students doing hands-on STEM, as well as um, some professional development for teachers and other programs because these events, especially STEM fairs, um, get kids interacting with the scientific method in a way that they don't get in the general sense in the classroom. So um, we're so excited to have TV yeah. moving on and <laughs> go women in STEM. Yeah. I have to say, I'm feeling pretty proud of, of women scientists right here on the stage. Yeah. Thank you both for being Thank here so today. Much. Good Thank luck in the global you. competition. If you, uh, wow. if it's any indication of how you presented today, I think you're going to do just fine. <laughs> yes, Thank you absolutely. so much. No doubt. Ladies, back to you. Fascinating. Hey, that's so fascinating. <laughs> So wow. easy to understand. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Laura. 949. Now after the break, we're going to wrap up.